basically our aim is to get you know the smallest product size comes down to the mill mm -hmm. um, for grinding and basically getting the best recovery we can at the end of it mm -hmm. um, without letting too much go mm -hmm. out to tails. Basically, it needs to needs to handle mm -hmm. the um, recirculating load. Yeah. So, needs to be able to push up that the big pipe going up to the cyclones, which is our main, you know, it's the mother of the plant. Basically, if they're not working, then nothing else is going to work. Oh, five hours, okay. easy because you you well, you got to have a man for the crane operators having to just get in there and get it done, yeah. help the fitters, one's on the crane and basically the operators on the tools trying to pull the casings off and the impeller and everything. When you get bog pumps it's, yeah, like I said, makes life a hell of a lot easier. You don't need a franner, you don't need, sometimes you struggle with but not everyone on site has a ticket to drive in front of crane. So um, yeah, it's yeah, a lot easier than the other style pumps. You have to drop the front spool off. You have to undo your discharge pipe, mine hose, and then you have to take your front cover off. What well, makes the job 100% easier. Okay. Um, you know, if you, if you bog the pump, mm -hmm. you can have it um, unbogged and back together within the hour. On a daily basis, we have a PM check sheet um, for the milling area. Um, we go around, we have to check our pumps. Main thing with the pumps are you check for leakage, um, gland seals, um, you yeah, obviously make sure if they're leaking too much to tension them up. That's a day-to-day -day thing. Weekly, we grease them, vibration and temperature checks and um, also on a Wednesday, Thursday, when we have our crossover shift, we've got two crews here. Like you've been for the last two days, we um, two two fitters open the pump up and just check the shimming of it. So yeah, basically undoing those bolts and pulling it back. That then negates the, the need for uh, extra personnel in the way of a, a franner. So, uh, yeah, you take away a lot of factors.